episode. Hello, everyone. We're doing Faking It Fridays live, 4 p.m. on you now, every Friday. And that's why you're here joining us, because you know that. <laughs> so should we get right into Let's the get right into it. Recap? What did you guys think this week's episode was called? Sorry, what do you think it was called? I think this week's episode was called Faking It Idol. I think this week's episode was called Go Back to Rehab Feel of Her. Good enough. Feeling him this Stay there week. forever. <laughs> Send Feel of Her booze. Said feel of her booze. We should get a P.O. box for feel of her. <laughs> uh, Teresa A. Cole thinks it was Jagged Little Heart. Wow. Or maybe that's what it was actually called. Oh, maybe. That sounds probably accurate. Life Not by Karma's Family. Abigail Smith. The Straits Are At It Again. Oh, L.J. Okay. <laughs> that's a good title. Yeah. Okay, let's get right into the recap. Yeah. And then we got some questions and we'll do a discussion after... Ready? Oh, I'm ready and for roll. episode four. Recap episode Season three. Four. Taking it. All right. Okay. So it opens up. Amy is working on sanding a chair because lesbian. Uh, her and Evil Stepsister decide to make a documentary. So Evil Stepsister's social following will go up. Make a documentary. Like, what year is this? 1990? Ladies, make a YouTube channel. Amy's just going to do anything to take her mind off karma, I guess. Also, like, standing a chair, making a documentary, like, what a lesbian Amy is. She's just good at everything. It's a fact. Lesbian is good at everything. She should probably build a house. She probably already has. Yeah. So, Feeliver is back from rehab. Um, and rehab has helped his addiction, but hasn't helped his awful sense of humor. Amy, like, if you think he's funny, girl, I can make you laugh. <laughs> Totally true. Um, Honey Douche Face is working as a waiter or something. We don't fucking know. Um, if, if, if they're trying to make him down to earth and likable on faking it, it's not working. No, he's just more annoying every week. Yeah. And, like, he drives a Porsche to school. Who are, is he trying to fool? It's to pay for the gas for the Porsche, apparently. <laughs> so Sid and Nancy perform a duet at an open mic, and they win. So they go on to perform at Battle of the Bands, along with a brand new trans character whose band name is, like, Noah's Ark. Mm -hmm. But we're going to call him Moses, because everything in the Bible is the same, right? Right. What's yeah. the difference? That's totally. Also, I don't think the characters in the show know that Moses is trans yet. Yeah, I don't know. Um, so after their performance, Hadi Douche faces to Karma, save some of that talent... For the rest of us. No karma, seriously, give him some talent. Have you seen his art? He's talentless. He has zero talent. He can use all the help he can get. <laughs> so at Battle of the Bands, Hottie Doucheface kisses karma. And at that moment, we could hear millions of lesbians throwing their bloodstones at the television <laughs> in disgust. And then Hottie Doucheface says he wants to talk after the concert, and we just want him to go the fuck away. So Evil Stepsister gets upset with Amy for wanting her to become a spokesperson for the intersex community. Seriously, Evil Stepsister, YouTube channel, about you being intersex, like, I'm thinking viral videos here. I don't even know if there's a YouTube channel for intersex, the intersex yeah. community. Get on it. And then Amy all of a sudden has some sort of interest in dating feel of her again. Like, what the actual hell is going on in this episode? All right? Where is Evan Rachel Wood when you need her? Like, the season we started with, like, two gays, and now we're down to zero. I don't get it. I know. We started off the season with two gay kisses. It's rapidly declining. Uh. So Karma stands Hottie Doucheface up for what we find out later is actually an extremely good reason, but Hottie Doucheface didn't get his name for nothing, and he accepts a date from literally the first girl he sees. Is his character just, like, not going to develop ever? I mean, this is a good question. 
How many times does Karma need to forgive him for all this bullshit he puts her through? <laughs> Every season, Never consistently. Gone. Every yeah. other episode. Okay, but then, like, it's a good reason Karma stands Hadi Dush face up, because she's at the hospital, and we find out that her dad had a heart attack, which is totally horrible. But, also really great for us, because Amy comes to the hospital, and they hug. And make up. So, thanks for not doing cardio, Mr. A. Sorry about your heart attack, but thanks so much for bringing Carmi back together. We owe you. I will give you my heart transplant. <laughs> so that was basically this week's episode. Sarah, we're rating this episode, the episodes this year mm-hmm. by the number of bullets that we would take. I'm taking two bullets for this episode. Why? Well, one, because, like, Karma was really upset, and that, like, got me in the feels. Like, yeah. that scene where she's at the hospital, and she's like, you know, that's scary. Mm-hmm. And then also, a bullet, because, like, they're finally back together, and I'm like, I'll take it for them. Aw, that was cute. Um, I would also take two bullets. It's good rating, Adriana. I would take one bullet for Hottie Doucheface. Oh, so you would point it in their direction. Well... Just one because Karma and Heidi douche face. Mm. And then I would take another one for feel over. Because, like... How about if you, like, steered the, the bullets into those... I bullets think this show is now turning into faking it. Like, faking it as straight girls. Because they're doing a really good job. So what would you guys rate this episode? What did you think about this episode? Natasha said maybe one bullet to graze my earlobe. <laughs> Barely a bullet. <laughs> Megan Yoshi Wild Dog feels really bad for Karma. You know, poor Karma. 69 bullets to the heart. Karma's been cheated on. Her dad's had a heart attack. Hottie Doucheface is playing mind games. Her and Amy were on the rocks. It's not been a good season so far for Karma. No. Do you know what make it better, Karma? Dating Amy. I don't know. That's just, like, the first thought that popped into my head. Broken but. record over here. I know. We're just gonna keep saying it. Um, oh my Lucia... Said, I'd take one bullet to the heart because the last scene in the hospital hit me in the feels. Mm-hmm. Definitely. And Kate Powers said, Karma is slaying it this season. She is. Uh, Katie Stevens has been able to do some, like, really tough scenes this season. While Rita Volk is just standing chairs. <laughs> I mean, also tough. Making furniture... Very difficult. Not easy. No. Easy for lesbians, yes. not easy for the rest Just of regular the regular people. community. Amy would take a bullet to the gut and heart because of the feels. Rare fied tiger would take one bullet to the elbow. So we got some questions. All right. We have the most important questions out of any questions that ever yeah, like any show that does a recap. We got the tough questions here. Mm-hmm. Number mm-hmm. one, okay, mm-hmm. guys, we want to know who is worse? Hottie Doucheface or Donald Trump? I would want neither to lead a country. Uh Uh-huh. Right. I think Hottie Doucheface might be worse for karma. (laughs) Um, I don't know. I think it's a tough one. Some people are saying Donald Trump. Everybody say Donald. That's because they're actually afraid. They're afraid. They're like, he could get in. (laughs) And we are all fucked. Um, Erin says she wants to build a wall between Karma and Liam. So far, the best answer to that question. <laughs> Trump people. They said they're, uh, Yarzo said they're equally crappy. Jenny from the block said we are so afraid. <laughs> for Karma's sake and for the United States of America. So, you, Donald Trump or Hyde Doucheface? I mean, Donald Aaron? Trump is worse, because if, if, with Donald Trump, he probably wouldn't get shows like Faking It, and then we'd have nothing to do recaps of, so. That's true. Okay, the next question. So, there was some obvious sexual tension going on with Moses and Gay Scout. Mm-hmm. How do you think Gay Scout is going to react when he finds out Moses is trans? Because... He's kind of pure evil. Not Moses. Gay Gay Scout. Scout. I don't know. I think something's going to happen and he's not going to realize it. And then he's going to find out later. And I think... I don't know if things are going to go well. 
I don't know. Danielle thinks Gay Scout's going to freak out. I think he will freak out. He'll be okay, but freak out at first. I think I agree. Yeah. I think he's going to freak out at first, and then he's going to realize he's being a total dick of a Has person. Has a little bit of character development. Yeah. Because right now, all the people that he does date are just, like, pretty boys that don't really have, like, a personality or mm-hmm. brain. Although Moses is also a pretty boy. He's a pretty boy as well. Catches but he has scouts. talent. Right. Talented also. I mean, no, I guess Six Pack had six talent. Six Packs had talent too, so. But, I mean, Moses in this episode basically schemed so that Sid and Nancy didn't win right. the Battle of the Band. So he's also outsmarting Gay Scout, which could be good for him. Like a rival, maybe. Yeah. Hmm. Teresa Cole thinks he'll find out while trying to hook up with him. And yeah, Sky Trip Taylor says, I don't think he's going to take it well. I guess there wouldn't be any conflict if he did take it right. well, so. Okay. Okay, we have the next question is very serious. This is real serious. Mm-hmm. Friendships will be torn. Oh. Who is the better singer, Sid or Nancy? Gay Scout or Karma? What do you guys think? What do you think? I have to go with our girl, Katie Stevens, yeah. obviously. She's quite incredible. Actually. Oh, it looks like everyone is agreeing. No one, I don't think, would say <laughs> Gay Scout. I mean, like, shame on her. him for trying to take center stage. What is he oh, thinking? Man. No. Everyone said, yeah, Alice said, let's be real. What <laughs> kind of question? Karma, hands down. Yeah. Gay Scout isn't even competition. <clears throat> Also true. Gay Scout belongs on Glee. I don't know if that was, like, an insult, but I'm going to take it as it was an insult. <laughs> uh, Lexi Wilde said, Simon Cowell sent Katie to Hollywood. It's, it's, it's obvious. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Next right, question? Next question, yeah. This is really, the, this is the last question, but this I think last it's question. the best one to add. Yeah, on. it's another important question. Would you rather sleep with Hottie Doofface uh-huh. or have diarrhea for an entire year <laughs> every day? Every Everything day? Everything you eat, <laughs> you get explosive diarrhea. diarrhea out of your body. Oh, explosive? Not no, this is bad diarrhea, okay. okay? This isn't just like, oh, slipped out diarrhea. Right. This is make a mess diarrhea. Okay. okay, the plus of the diarrhea, <clears throat> I'm fighting silver lining, is I would be very skinny. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, it's better to have the diarrhea than to sleep once with hot Yeah, face. Yeah, I mean, it's maybe. just a one time thing. But if I ever wanted karma, I couldn't sleep with hot douche face either. Then karma would, I mean, because she's bi. Yeah. Okay. Um, so uh, said, oh my, Lucia said eternal diarrhea. Uh, That's good. I mean, somebody said IBS, which, I mean... That's basically, that's basically yeah. So it basically you get IBS. <laughs> I mean, we do have some bisexuals that are watching, and they're like, I'll sleep with him, he's hot. And then make sure you, like, burn all the clothes you were wearing, though, because, like, he's filthy. He probably has several STIs. Let's be real. Oh, sleep with him, but just sleep. I guess. Oh. You didn't phrase the question correctly. I feel like, ugh, I wouldn't even want to cuddle with him. I take the diarrhea for a year, even just so I have to touch him. Kalia Jr. Roswell, diarrhea. I mean, is there really a difference between the two? Alusha oh, said that she's bi and she still wouldn't sleep with him. She would still have eternal diarrhea. <laughs> That's it's amazing. one year diarrhea. No, but she would take oh, it. She she's would like take eternal, eternal diarrhea. diarrhea. So, wow. Elsa said if I had diarrhea, I could just stay home like I normally do. <laughs> <laughs> so you just like continue living your normal life. Sorry, Sam. I can't come out tonight. I have eternal diarrhea. <laughs> eternal diarrhea. It'd be a good way to get out of school, though. El- Ellie said she's pansexual, but she would pick neither. That's not would you rather, Ellie. You <laughs> need to pick one. You get two awful situations, yeah, and, and you, you have, have to pick, pick mm-hmm. which awful situation that you want. Do they smell the same? Asked Lexi. <laughs> That's awful. 
Okay, so we want to know what you guys think about this episode. Young Savage said, Noah will be the first guy to challenge Shane. And I... Mm. Absolutely. It's a good prediction. I, okay, prediction for next week? Okay, so next week, Amy and Evil Stepsister are trying to get their parents back together. And then Hadi Doucheface wants to sleep with the rabbi's daughter. Like, that's what's happening, right? Right. Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if, like, a ton is going to happen. Oh, and then um, Karma is just tagging along. So, I hopefully we're at least going to get more, some more, like, Karmy scenes together. Because yeah. there's only one scene in this episode. I feel like a hottie douche face, nothing will happen with that girl once he realizes who she is. And then Karma won't have to forgive him. You don't think Karma's going to find out about this girl? I think no. But no. She has to. Because, like, of course she's gonna drama. Be. But... What is But then he's gonna be like, nothing happened. What does Hottie Doucheface need to do for Karma to just literally forget about him? I I don't know. Does he need to kill someone in her family? I don't understand. Oh, um Katniss Kane said Karma's parents are polyamorous, right? And I think so. Remember, and also in the in the in the sneak peek, it said something about um that Karma's parents had something to tell her. Right. Maybe they're bringing another lover into the bedroom. Hottie douche face. He would do it. That's what kind <laughs> That's of sick step. asshole That's he is. That's next. Um, Karma's parents get more action than Karmi. It's, it's true. That's sad. Danielle's Amy gonna- wants to see Amy having another lady lover. Well, anyone, any lady, I don't care who the lady is, is better than Fielver. She cannot date Fielver. Every time he tries to make a joke, I just cringe. I'm just like, stop talking. Stop it. Like, he's nice and all, but then he's kind of creepy. A little bit. Maybe that's just how I see heterosexual men all <laughs> kind of creepy. I mean, I guess it's creepy if you're just showing up after how long? Uh, uh, in between two seasons, and you're like... Tell me, like, all of your deepest feelings about karma. We've known each other for 20 minutes. Yeah. We went on one date to, like, prom or whatever. Emery said, seriously, he's just, like, a cute younger brother. Like, I'm all for them, like, just being friends. Mm-hmm. That is it. Yeah. Lindsay said, I need more lesbian action. Amen, sister. Uh- all right. Well, thank you guys for watching... Faking It Friday, where we recap MTV show Faking It. And we're doing this every Friday at 4 p.m. Eastern Time, where we recap a new episode. Thanks so much for watching, guys. We will see you all next Friday. And watch MTV's Faking It Tuesday Tuesday. nights. Also, if you guys want to vote for Gay Women Channel for You Now or of the Year, you can go on um, the Shorty Awards, right? I don't know or anything Twitter. about it. We tweeted it. You can just retweet and tag us. Hope everyone has a great week and a fantastic weekend, and hope you get more action than Carmi does <laughs> this weekend. Okay, we'll see you guys next Friday. Bye!